You know, sometimes you talk to people and, and, and they take credit for anything good that's happened in, in, in the da'wah in America over the last 30 years. Right? I remember back then I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that and I was here and how dare you talk to me like that. I've been here for this long and that long. Right? That constant need to mention or, or to be validated by people's appreciation and by people's recognition of what you feel like is your hard work and your contribution. The minute that you do that, is the minute that you have rendered everything that you've done void, batil, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you clearly weren't searching for it from the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you are someone who is ugly with their attitude whenever they do some volunteer work or whenever they give some charity or whenever they, they bail their brother out or their sister out, you know, they'll remind them five years later, ten years later, Allah Azza wa Jal says, كَمَثَرِ صَفْوَانٍ عَلَيْهِ تُرَابٍ فَأَصَابَهُ وَابِلْ فَتَرَكَهُ صَلَّى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He describes this person that gives charity, boasting and harming people and does good things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كَالَّذِي لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ It's like a person who doesn't really believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the Day of Judgment. And Allah says, it's like a stone that is covered in soil. And so when people see that stone covered in soil, they think what? They think it's fertile ground. You know, the word munafiq, uh, it, comes from, from the, it comes from nafaqa, which means cave or tunnel. It's, you know, it's, it's the hole that the jarbun, that, that particularly the jarboa, it leaves, it's a desert rat. It, it's, you know, it leaves this, this, uh, this, this layer on top of something that is completely empty so that a person would see it and they would think it's actual sand, but in reality, it's a rat's cave. That's what the word munafiq means. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it's like a stone covered in dirt so that a person would see it and a person would think that it's fertile soil فَأَصَابَهُ وَابِرْ And then rain comes and falls upon it فَتَرَكَهُ صَلْدَ And it leaves it completely bare. It leaves it completely exposed. It was a hard stone. Some of the ulama, they said this is referring to the heart. A hard heart doesn't necessarily not do good deeds but a hard heart does good deeds in an ugly way. Whereas a soft heart does good deeds in a beautiful manner. So some of the ulama, they said the heart is left as stone. So it wasn't that the person was doing anything good for you because they loved you or because they cared about you. It was to gain leverage. It was to have bragging rights. It was to say, I've been doing this and I've been doing that. And that insincerity is eventually exposed. SubhanAllah, when we, when we study the Prophet ﷺ's life and when we study the lives of the Salaf and those that came before the pious predecessors, we see the complete opposite. People that would hide their good deeds the way that they would hide their sins. People that were more worried about being asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about why they did not repay the favors that were done to them rather than even mentioning the favors that they did for others. People that were humble. People that were pleased to serve. People that were happy to have the opportunity to do a good deed.